What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been about four months since my last modding tutorial in Skater XL and it's come to my attention that as of late it's been pretty tough to find and install certain mods in Skater XL. So I figured today we'll do an updated tutorial that will help clear things up of where to locate and how to install every single mod in Skater XL on PC. I'm going to try to make this installation video as short as possible to get started off quickly because installing mods on PC is actually quite easy. But just make sure that you follow every single step in this video because if you skip any steps at all uh, the process won't work and your mods won't work. Now if you have any issues installing these mods after following the steps multiple times and you think you have it right but it's still not working just reach out to me on discord through direct message or even just ask my help section in my discord and on the modding discord too there's also a help section here as well and there's lots of very very helpful people here to help support you guys with modding. All right, so the very first thing we need to do is install Skater XL. So either you had the game for a long time or you just bought it, we need to do one thing on Steam to make sure that we're all on the same page. So make sure you have Skater XL downloaded and make sure that you're not running the beta version because the beta version used to be what you needed to make mods work in Skater XL, but that is not true anymore. The most recent version or the latest version of the game is the public version. If you're new to the game, this probably won't be um, an issue at all. You right click Skater XL in Steam, go to properties, betas and opt out of all public betas but yeah just make sure you're running the latest version of skater xl because that is the one supported by the mods and the beta is no longer supported so the next thing that we need is unity mod manager this will be the application that you use to install the mods into skater xl so it's basically like a middleman for the mods. It'll help you put the mods into the game. So this is nexusmods.com. This is where you grab Unity Mod Manager from. And another important thing for this is that you grab version 22.6 or higher. It doesn't matter what number that you have as long as it's higher than 22.6. This application gets updated quite often. So the version that I install in this video might be a different number than what you guys have, but it doesn't matter as long as it's higher than 22.6, it should be fine. And if this changes in the future, I'll do an updated modding tutorial on this. So when you go to nexusmods.com, you'll be on the main page right here and you'll need to go down to files. This is where you'll find the application, Unity Mod Manager. And the most recent version, I believe, would be this one, 22.14b. So when you're into files here, you're going to click the latest manual download file for Unity. So it's going to say you have to sign in to download, which I guess is no big deal. So just if you don't have an account, just make an account quickly, sign in. And right here, you can click free slow download, which is, you know, it's still really quick. So we'll click slow download and this will install Unity Mod Manager. And I'll just place it onto my desktop. You can place it on your desktop or put this, uh, the UD folder, wherever you want. The only place you can't put it is in your Skater XL folder where your game is located. So now that we have Unity Mod Manager installed, we're going to double click this and open it up and you'll see a bunch of files in here but the only ones that you're really concerned about is the unity mod manager application here so there's a couple different ones but i don't think it really really matters but you have to click the unity mod manager application right here this is the one we're looking for and this is the unity mod manager installer so all you do for this is drag and drop your mods into here and then that will install the mods into the game so it's just a middleman but the first thing you want to do and the most important step is to make sure that you have the game folder selected because this application needs to know where to install the mods and you want to install them into skater xl so you want to locate wherever your game is installed and that is in your steam folder so right here the game uh, will be a big list of games simply just click skater xl for this one this one's really easy but this one is wherever your skater xl game is located on your computer which will be typically be at this location here. So this is where my games are located on my C drive under program files x86. And then you're going to find Steam, which is right here. And then you're going to go to Steam apps, common, Skater XL. And that is the folder of which my game is installed. That is where my EXE folder for Skater XL is located. That's where my entire game is located right there. So I'm going to just click Skater XL and click OK. And now Unity Mod Manager knows where to install the mods. So whenever I click this install button, it's going to put all of the mods from this application into the game where I told it to go. So now you're basically all set up. You have the base version of the game. You have UD Mod Manager and you're, you're completely done. You have everything ready to install mods and all you have to do now is drag and drop whatever you want. So I'm not going to install every single mod in Skater XL, but I will show you guys where to get every single mod that there is. So there's three locations that I know of personally that you can get every single mod from. The main place that I would go to get my mods is the modding website here. And you can go to type under script. 
and if you sort by script these are all of the mods that are available currently on the modding io website um, you'll notice that it isn't all the mods there's a couple missing from this one too so i'll leave a link below to every single mod that i currently have installed in my game which i believe are the most important mods and the most common mods but i don't have everything so i want to make sure that you guys know where to get absolutely everything that is available and also for future mods that uh, become available this is where you can get them from another great location is this right here so the Sater XL modding discord which used to be the main location of getting mods but now is kind of like the secondary location so i would usually go to the modding website first but if you can't find it there you could probably find it here all the resources that you need for modding in skater xl are in this discord right here so there's help there's how to start modding tutorials how to install maps how to install gear and skin i'll go over that in this video as well too how to install maps and gear and stuff it's quite easy and there's also one more location too which is very important so the dog vinci discord people have been having issues finding dog vinci mods lately because there's been some stuff happening in the modding community with just you know locations of mods changing and stuff the best place to get dog vinci mods are from his discord personally right here so if you go under the mod section there's board utilities enduro mod exposure controller gear utilities project awesome and that is where you can get every single mod in skater xl so i actually do have all of my mods ready to go right here and i'll leave a link below to all of these mods and we can get them so some of these might be a, a discord link but most of them i'll leave a link right to the modding io website and we'll do one example for actually we'll do a couple examples and i think one of the most popular ones would be multiplayer so so I'm going to go to multiplayer. I'll type it in and it's right here. XL multiplayer and we're going to scroll down and make sure that whenever you download a mod, you download the most recent version. So I'm going to click this and put this on my desktop. It's a zip file. And for the mods, you need to keep them in a zip file. You do not extract the mods. So it says right here in you need mod manager drop zip files here so it's pretty straightforward. After you have the multiplayer zip file downloaded, you just take it and drop it. And it says unpacking multiplayer success. We'll get this one as well too. XL graphics. This is the fisheye camera. This is your follow camera. So this is the main camera that people on PC use for filming stuff. And it seems to be a new version actually three days ago. So this is a beta version. Download this to desktop, take the zip file, drop it there and you're done. After you, after you finish dragging and dropping the mods that you want to install and you have a big list like this, go to the main install page and click install. This is very important and seems to be a step that people miss very often. So click install and it'll be grayed out. This, this needs to be grayed out. Sometimes it'll say update, sometimes it'll say install, but this, this button right here has to be grayed out or else something is going wrong. There sometimes may be an issue with mass installing mods. Like if you do like 10 or 20 mods at, this, at one time and try to click install, depending on your computer, it might lag out, it might not work. So if you have issues with that, install button just go into this you can right click it and click install individually as well so now that we have everything good to go we can open the game and start it up so we're going to play skater xl and the first thing that you notice is uh there's a pop-up that will happen which is supposed to happen it's a good thing so you should see a pop-up um, when you open the game. So when I click start here, you'll see a Unity mod manager kind of like a control center thing. It'll show you all of your mods you have installed in the game. So here it is right here. This is the Unity mod manager file thing that should open up. So that basically wraps up the installation process. That is how you install any single mod in Skater XL. That is where to locate them. And you guys now know how to install any single mod on PC in Skater XL. So the last thing I want to show you guys is how to install gear and how to install maps in Skater XL. And that is Super simple. When you install Skater XL on Steam, on PC, it'll automatically create folders for you to put gear and stuff into. So after you have Skater XL installed, you would go to your file explorer and you would go to this PC and you go to the, the documents folder. Under your main documents folder, there will be a Skater XL folder. This is what will be created by the game when you install it. So we click Skater XL and there will be a gear folder and there will be a map folder. All you do is go to the modding website, Discord, or wherever you got this stuff from, and you would put them into the proper folders. If I have clothes put into my gear folder, I can go to custom character and scroll over, and you'll notice there's top and bottom, but now there should be custom top and bottom. So there's custom skin, custom headwear, custom top, custom bottom, custom shoes, custom deck, custom grip tape, custom trucks that is where all of your custom gear will show up if you have it in your gear folder but if you have maps in your map folder they'll also show up as here as well you have a big list of stuff and that is how you install maps gear 
and mods on PC. It's as simple as that. So hopefully this video helped you guys out with installing mods in Skater XL. If there's any changes to this process, I'll be sure to do an updated mod tutorial right away. But other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. Peace.